Hey guys, today I'm making a tiny pest dispenser. This is in no way meant to be perfect, I just thought the idea was super cute and a few of you requested it, so I hope you'll enjoy. First you're going to make a stencil for the main part of the dispenser and this just has the short and wide sides, as well as two little attachments on the top. I then transferred that onto the middle from a tea light holder and cut that out. You then want to poke two holes on the two top attachments and bend it. And for the last corner where there is a small crack, you can just add some glue to close it up. You then want to roll out a thin sheet of clay and measure the feet as well as a small piece that's going to go on the inside. And after baking, you can take this small piece for the inside and just put it into the tube. Now, I don't have a spring that's less than one millimeter thick, so to get the same effect of the spring, I just used a makeup sponge. And a sponge really does the same thing, you can squeeze it and it'll expand. Then just glue on the feet and this is what you should have so far. To make the head, you want to measure where the holes are on the sides. Then attach a small piece of clay to the front and pre-bake. After pre-baking, I added the clay for the top portion, then pre-baked again and added the rest of the clay. And for this small piece on the back, I do recommend adding some liquid clay just to strengthen it. After baking, I attached the head to the main part of the dispenser using a small piece of wire, then cut off any excess and sealed the ends with glue. Then add a few simple details using acrylic paint and seal with glaze. Next you just want to make the tiny candies and after baking you can put them into the dispenser. I didn't make the part of the dispenser that kind of raises up because in this scale it's just going to be too fragile. So instead you'll have to put them into the dispenser one at a time and I put five into mine but you can make as many or as few as you want. This was really difficult to film but when you tilt the head it'll push out the candy just enough for you to grab onto it. Lastly, I just baked and painted a small block of clay to look like the wrapped candy, then seal with glaze, and you're done. 